So there's a lot of traps beginners can fall into when they first start the game, and many of you may have already experienced it. Or maybe you haven't. But regardless, this is a compilation of some of the more important tips and tricks to maximize the progress of your squads efficiently when you start off. So the first one is, don't spam constructions. This is probably one of the bigger traps people always fall for. They start the game off fresh, and probably because it happens from other mobile games, they want to get their hands on the high rarity unit, or there's this one wife that they must get. Well, here's the problem with this though. You'll run out of resources real quick. What's the problem with this? Well, those are resources you should be using to grind missions and to level your dolls up with. Because in this game, resources are king. It doesn't matter if you have the best squad in the world and they're max level. You can't do anything if you don't have enough resources to start the missions and play them. Not to mention, if you're always spamming construction, you won't be able to save up for construction rate up events either. So it's usually recommended to only do 4 constructions, both doll and equipment, for the daily missions and nothing more. Now the next one is not getting hung over 4 and 5 star dolls and properly managing your cores. This kind of goes hand in hand with the previous tip, but early game, don't worry about 4 and 5 star dolls too much. The primary reason being is that you'll more than likely get stuck at a point most of us refer to as core hell. Core hell is when you have dolls that are available to dummy link, but you can't as you don't have enough cores nor duplicates readily available. So this is more than likely to happen if you level several 4 or 5 star dolls at the same time, as they're harder to get dupes of and they eat a lot of cores if you use cores to dummy link them. Now to give you a rough estimate, you only get 3 cores by doing dailies and 6 cores by doing weeklies, coming to a total of potential 27 cores per week from just missions. Now a 5 star doll needs 105 cores, while a 4 star doll needs 63 cores if you want to dummy link them all the way to level 90. If you were to level 2-3 to three of these dolls with mixed rarity, you're looking at entry between a minimum of 126 cores to a maximum of 315 cores to fully dummy link them using exclusively cores from dailies and weekly missions and assuming you don't get any duplicates, which is, statistically speaking, very likely. Due to such reasons, a lot of the budget 2 and 3 star dolls are recommended as they can help you get through the story mode as you accumulate your stash of cores which can be used later in the future to dummy link your 4 and 5 star dolls. And since they're 2 and 3 stars, they're a lot easier to acquire duplicates of for dummy linking, or if you had to use cores, it's still a lot cheaper than dummy linking 4 and 5 stars using cores so you don't have to worry about getting the core hell as much. Now that I've told you about the 2 initial traps people usually fall for, the next biggest priority you should be going for is getting through the story missions. And the best way of going about this is by using your friend's support squads to brute force it, which can help drastically decrease the time it takes to do so. Not only can you save resources since they're doing the fighting for you, being the mission grants you access to more efficient logistics, meaning you can earn back resources you consume at a higher, more efficient rate. Which means you can grind more and longer and stabilize your resource consumption at an earlier stage of your account's lifetime. The longer you prolong this, the more resources you're missing out on and the less efficient everything becomes. Though this doesn't mean you shouldn't be leveling as well. Both leveling and unlocking logistics should be done in parallel. Refer to my leveling guide if you need to know where you should be grinding for levels. I'll leave a link in the description below. Another trap people fall into a lot early game is leveling several squads at the same time. Don't do this. Focus on a single squad. This is usually the hardest part of the game, but the most important, since you're basically pioneering a past that doesn't exist yet. As a beginner, you have nothing. Max 5 star equipments, several DPS with max level skills, tanks that can reliably cover the front line, a surplus of cores, or a reliable method of resupplying them? Nothing. None of these apply to beginners. But that first squad you're working on is the first step towards all of that. All those plans you had for 4 and 5 star dolls? Just keep it a plan. Don't execute them just yet. Completion isn't achieved through what may seem like a faster way out. It's achieved through slowly but surely working your way up, starting from one squad. Now, building off that previous point, the first squad you level is supposed to be the foundation you build upon to get to endgame. Like anything else, your foundation should be as solid as it can be. Following this logic, you think MGs would be part of that initial lineup for the first squad. Well, here's where the problem arises. They go through ammo like hogs. 
This goes in line with the construction tip, but early game, you want to be as resource efficient as possible. And leveling MGs contradicts that guideline. Yes, they're super strong and rain hail upon their enemies. They eat a ridiculous amount of ammo for breakfast. You'll run out of ammo before you can even properly grind for levels. On a similar note, handguns aren't generally recommended as part of your first squad and are considered endgame units. This is because handguns are generally used as supports and truly shine only once they're fully dummy linked and used in conjunction with a properly leveled squad. Until then, their full potential isn't being realized and if they're part of that first squad you're leveling, they'll neither be fully dummy linked nor were used as a support for a properly leveled squad. So you're losing out a lot of potential DPS that should be there to help you get through the story mode. Moving on, this is the last tip. But this is something that gets overlooked by many since it's usually a system not many people are familiar with. But the level of your doll does not equate to the performance she will be outputting. Leveling up only raises the doll's HP stat and armor stat if the gun has it. The other four primary stats remain static even after leveling up. And only the hard cap is raised bit by bit. So what you want to do is use two stars for upgrade fodder to enhance the doll's stats so they can become stronger, but only use two stars. Never use three stars or higher rarity dolls for enhancing. This is because any dolls with a rarity of three star or higher will yield cores according to their rarity when dismantled. Three stars yield one core, four stars yield three cores, and five stars yield five. So if you have additional dupes of guns that you don't need, grind them up for extra cores and don't use them as upgrade fodder by accident. So, that just about does it for some of the more important tips and tricks to point you in the right direction if you've just started the game or you're still in early game. I'll be talking about the more nitty gritty tips when I get to them in their own respective videos. If you don't want to wait, leave your questions in the comment sections and I'll get to it if someone else doesn't. Next up will either be a video explaining corpse tracking or the SMG class breakdown. I haven't decided on which yet, but either way, look forward to it.